Franco. Why is the sky so red and lovely? Oh, because the air is loaded with dust and moisture this morning. The sun is low on the horizon, so it's sending light through the thickest part of our atmosphere. <laughs> Gee, you really know how to ruin the mood. Ah, that's why I became a scientist. <laughs> that was a rhetorical question, Franco. Just enjoy the moment. We take so many things for granted. What if the sun never rose? Oh, oh, uh, well, it, <laughs> Fine, go ahead. Oh, it'd be infinitely scary, Lily. We'd be left in complete darkness because the morning would never come, which would cause a lot of chaos. Then it would get severely cold. Eventually, everything would die because living things need the sun to survive. You know, trying to live without sunlight is like trying to live without God. It's scary and chaotic, cold, and ultimately leads to death. But God sent his perfect son, Jesus, to be the light of your life. Jesus says in John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Jesus died on the cross to save you for all the bad things you've done. Those are called sins. If you believe in Jesus as your savior, every sin will be forgiven and you'll receive eternal life as well as the promises of God. Promises like he will direct your paths, he will never leave you, he'll always watch over you and provide for you. As a scientist, I know God is in control of everything. Just consider the Earth's relationship to the sun. Our world orbits the sun because of its gravitational force and we're at the perfect distance from the sun, so our temperature isn't deadly hot or cold. The Earth also spins as it circles the sun. This creates days and nights. Every morning the sun comes up and every evening the sun goes back down. But we don't worry when it sets because we know the night won't last forever. The sun will rise again to bring light and warmth. It's reliable like our Lord, so we can wake up confident. God's faithfulness is true. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23 says, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. As you see the sun faithfully rise each morning, you can be reminded of God's faithfulness every day. Wow, what a work of art. Isn't it wonderful to wake up to these bright colors? Actually, the red sky is a sign of high pressure, Lily. Storm clouds might be headed our way. <laughs> Don't you think that was a rhetorical question, Franco? Uh, which one? <laughs> oh, when storm clouds cover the sky, you still know the sun's out there shining on the world. So, in the middle of dark times, remember God's still there, working behind the scenes. Even though it may get scary for a time, the clouds will pass, and God's light will shine again. Ah, the predictable rhythms of creation reflect the Creator's faithfulness. Scientists are so smart. <laughs> but sometimes, I do wonder what goes on in your brain. Oh, did you know that starfish don't have any brains? Uh, oh, don't answer that rhetorical question. Hmm.